Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do something a little bit differently today. I'm going to talk to you about pens. Um, as well as my love of handbags and shoes, I'm also a bit of a stationery geek. Um, apologies about this whole look, we're having a makeup free housework day today. Um, so anyway, I was, I've had for a while that I got from Heathrow Terminal 5 a Mont Blanc um, classic rollable, which I'm going to show you here. So this is just the classic rollable in the rose gold and black. I really love this pen and it's really nice to write with and what I like about the rollables are that you get the choice of using either the classic rollable um, refills or the fine line. And I quite like the fine line, a bit like a felt tip. Um, I'll, I'll show you in a bit what, what that looks like. So I really liked that. Um, but the problem I have with this pen is, I found this out, you're not supposed to put the lid on the end. And I actually was in a meeting once, writing away like this, lid flew off and hit the person I was with. And it was a little embarrassing. Um, and then found out you're not supposed to be putting the lid on the end. So you've then got this lid that you're just like, what do I do with this? Anyway, but it's still a really nice pen and I like using it. So I decided that I would get a new pen. I was just browsing on the Mont Blanc website months ago and I thought, well, maybe I'll go for a ballpoint, not rollable, and go for something that's then just going to click and isn't going to have a lid. And I came across the Bohem do moon garden range, I think that's how you say it, um, and thought I, this pen I saw was the most beautiful pen I'd ever seen. But I didn't get it, it was, it was £500 at the time. They had it available at Harrods as well, there's one in store, in stock, and I was like, oh, do I go get my Harrods points to get the pen, but it's £500 for a pen. I had other priorities at the time, didn't get it. I then looked again, and it had gone up to £510, and I was like, oh, anyway left it. I then looked again and they were completely out of stock on the Mont Blanc website and also um, everywhere. That allows you to do a bit of a store search. The website is really good actually. But no, absolutely none available anywhere. Um, I rang them to see what, what the position was and actually found out that it was uh, had been discontinued. It was a limited edition range. Um, and there were no other ones that I liked. I just saw this one and loved it. So um, I had someone at, at Heathrow Terminal 5 that I rang was going to see what they could do for me because I was doing a, a, a trip up there so I was due to be travelling through. Um, and I started looking on eBay and saw some on eBay um, and then I also rang Harrods just in case they had anything or if their store stock was slightly different, I don't know. I, I just Whenever I have a shopping issue, I just ring Harrods and they normally help me. Um, so I rang and spoke to the really helpful in the store and they managed, they didn't have any, but managed to look up on the store and so there was one left at the Bista Village store, which was interesting. And they, the Bista Village store doesn't come up on the Mont Blanc website stock as I, far as I could see. Don't quote me on that. Um, so, anyway, so then I rang Bista Village. And typically they were just about to do a whole store move, so we're packing up, but told me the one that they had actually wasn't the ballpoint, it was a rollable and they just had it on the wrong number on their system. That they used to have the ballpoint but didn't anymore. Anyway, I had a look at the rollable online and actually found that the I wasn't going to have the same lid as you was, it still had the removable lid which the ballpoint didn't. It screws on and off, and then also screws on and off on the end as well. So basically, I got them to reserve one for me. Cut a long story short. Um, and it's a really good price as well, because the rollable retailed at 560, so more than the 510 for the ballpoint, and they were selling it for 410, so even cheaper than I wanted. So I was like, great. But I've got to go in there in person, which is about a two hour drive, but if I've got it reserved, so it's not a wasted trip, I don't mind, and it's an excuse to have a little browse around Vista, which I don't go to very often at all, only been once before. So we did that, got there, bought the pen, got home, and there's a problem with it. There's a manufacturing fault, not the store's fault, and I didn't I didn't notice it when I was in store. 
So I got it sent back and I had to get a new one sent to me and they're really good, they refunded me the postage as well and the pen came and it's beautiful so I thought I'd show you. So it's kind of a bit of a, this is a slight, this bag, it's a slight unboxing come comparison with the classic in case anyone's interested. Um, as we see, it won't boil on that. And I also got some rollable refills. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the difference between the two. So it comes, like I say, it's all it's discounted, it's nothing wrong with it, it's not seconds, um, it's just like past season. But it was the one that I wanted, so there's the box. Also comes with this leaflet, it's called a service guide. I mean, it's damn pen, but anyway, it's got a service guide, and also in the back of that is the Certificate comes with a two year manufacturer's guarantee. So I'm not going to. Here it is. Just hold on to that. There it is. And I will show you up close as well. It comes with one black refill, but I find black a bit boring, so I've ordered a coloured. So yeah, and here is the pen. which is just stunning. Um, and you can see there, that's the screws I was just telling you about. So that will, the lid here will unscrew and then screw back on there. And you can see it's still got the packaging on as well. So I'll just tell you a quick bit about this. I'm gonna let you look and I'm gonna read to you what this says quickly. And then I will show you these up close so you can't see me, you can actually see the pen. So, this, there we go, let you see, is that gonna focus? All right. So this is has a red gold coated clip set with a synthetic cognac colored gemstone, which has an individual serial number. The barrel is metal coated with flannel gray lacquer, decorated with a lacquered pattern in a golden tone, Varnished with the transparent lacquer on top, design pattern linked to the concept of Moon Garden. And the cap is a precious resin in a flannel grey tone inlaid with the Mont Blanc emblem. And like I say, that is a rollable, and that means it just takes the standard size. So it's quite a small pen, I'll show you the difference against my classic in a minute. Um, it takes the standard size rollable refills, which come in Mystery Black, Pacific Blue, Nightfire Red, Fortune Green, Amethyst Purple, Barbados Blue, India Orange, Mont Blanc, Fine line the refills it takes are again Mystery Black, Pacific Blue, Amethyst Purple, and Barbados Blue. So I will show you all that in a minute, but it's just beautiful. Um, I just love that whole grey tone. So, anyway, I'll show you the pens in just a second. Right, so I thought I'd show you the two pens side by side. So, this is the new Bohem Moon Garden, and this one here is my black and rose gold classic and it's just a standard size classic it's not the grand at all so you can see it's a little bit shorter and fatter the moon garden one and um, absolutely stunning so I just thought I'd show you the difference in size in case you were interested I also thought I'd show you quickly just the difference in the writing style so Just right. This is so. This is the rollable pen, but with the fine liner. So tripod in the way. You know. So, like I say, really nice to write with the classic. It's just a little awkward, and that's in the fine line in Barbados blue. Sorry, in Pacific Blue, not Barbados Blue. Because here I have in the Pacific Blue as well, same colour, but the rollable refill. So, take the end off. And then, to put it in the pen, just unscrew this. And then unscrew the nib. And then, screw... Again, clockwise, screw that in, not too hard, and then clockwise again, screw 
that on. I'm going to remove the plastic packaging and also I'm going to screw my lid on as well. Right. And then right again, this is somewhat stuck with the tripod, so excuse me, but this is the rollable. So yeah, feels really nice. It, they are both the same colour, these inks, but if you look, you can see there is a difference. And I think I just found the, the rollable seems to be a little tiny bit thicker. and um, They're both size medium. Um, and just looks I think, a little bit darker. Anyway, so I'm going to leave you with one final look here. See, isn't that gem beautiful? And I'll put um, whatever links I can find um, in the description box below. Um, in case you want to have a look for this pen, like I say, it has been discontinued, but you may, you may get lucky and find one. The product code is 113101, and it was 113103 for the ballpoint. Um, they also do a fountain pen in the same range, but I wasn't interested in that at all, so I, I'm afraid I don't know the serial number. But I'll put whatever links I can find in, and... Um, Thanks very much. Right, so I hope you found that useful. Um, if you've got any questions at all, then please put in the description box below. Like I said, a little bit different for my channel, but there's many luxury things that I love. Um, it's not limited to shoes, handbags, and SLGs, and beauty, and sunglasses. And yeah, quite a range. Um, but yeah, I've always been a stationary geek even when I was little and used to get very excited about going to WH Smiths and getting a new notepad. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that, hope you found it useful and um, please subscribe to my channel, I'd love it if you did. Thanks very much, bye.